one of the greatest things that a candy cap mushroom can become, and a fantastic holiday gift, candy cap caramels. Loved by many readers for years on my site here. I'm going to start off with a little bit of corn syrup, just like Grandma used to make. I'll add some salt, heavy cream, unsalted butter. And you can see I have some ground candy cap mushrooms in the corner there that I'll add um, near the end. And you're just going to cook this using a candy thermometer until it gets to about 235 Fahrenheit. And don't worry, it shouldn't bubble up and overflow. Once it gets to about 235, you're going to start doing set tests. So to do that, you're just going to take a little spoonful of the caramel mixture and put it into a thing of cold water. You can see right here, this is about 235 Fahrenheit, and that's too early. See, it's not holding its shape. Now you know you got to keep cooking it. That's about 240 Fahrenheit, and you can see that's perfect. That's going to hold its shape. When that happens, you got to work very quickly. We're going to beat the candy caps in really well, and then we're going to pour it directly into a baking tray or whatever vessel, loaf pan, lined with parchment paper. You must use parchment paper. If you don't, you're going to have a mess like this. I forgot to do it on my second batch because I'm making about 400 of these things, and that's kind of a pain, so I include that as a warning. That being said, these things are malleable and easy to form. They don't have to be perfect. They're almost better if they're rustic. You can use wax paper like I'm using there, or you can order candy wrappers from a baking store or on Amazon. This is a great thing to do with the family around a table at the holidays, or I mean, for any time. These things are so good. They taste like maple syrup on steroids, but there's no maple syrup in it. One of my all-time favorite things to serve at events. Thanks for watching.